We're gonna go over the Arbonaut. Guys, this is a great one to have in your arsenal. It's easy, it's effective, and you can use it for a variety of different things. After I show you how to tie it, I'll give you just a few samples of what I've used it for. This is the Arbor Knot, just to show you what you're going to be doing with this. So you've got a loop, the knots are on this side. If I've got something rolled up, then I'm just gonna put it around, show you what the end looks like so that when we show you how to tie it, you have a better understanding. Now what it does is it cinches down. This acts, acts like a noose, so to speak. And it just cinches down over to whatever you have tied on, and there you go. So now let's take a look on how to tie it. With this knot, if you know how to tie your shoes, you can do this knot, it's that simple. So take one end, you're gonna create an overhand knot. So just create a loop. Put that through. You wanna leave a little bit of excess here, you'll find out why in just a minute. Now don't tighten that all the way, and then take the opposite end of your rope. And guys, this doesn't need to be this long. It's just when I'm using, I don't wanna cut it because I use this for something else specifically. Now, this side is gonna come up through the bottom, at least the way I have this. Just follow this piece right here, actually. Just kinda of follow that through. and then tighten this down. That's essentially it. There's one more piece. So what that does is that creates your loop and part of your cinching system here. Now what's gonna happen when you cinch this down, maybe it'll work on my fingers. Watch this end right here. See how it's pulling through? That's gonna pull right through. So what we need to do is create a stopper knot right here. So what you're gonna do, what I call a stopper knot, climbing terms. So you're gonna just do the same knot, overhand knot. So create a loop, send that piece through, pull it. Now what that's gonna do, stopper knot, jam knot, this is gonna come through and jam on the knot that you've created. So as you cinch, see how it's getting, getting shorter? Now that jams. Now what this does is you can use this to really cinch down and tighten itself. The other cool thing about this though is once it's jammed in there and it's really, really tight, all you have to do is take this end, pull it, and it comes right back out. See, now what I would normally do with this is I would cut this end. I, you just don't need it that long. But you've got something rolled up. This is my sleeping bag liner. You put that loop around and then take this long end and you're going to pull that. And you kind of got to figure which way. If you pull one way, it doesn't work. You just got to figure out which way it goes. And see that really cinches down and locks itself. In fact, it's cinched down so much that it's just disappeared in the fabric. Again, to get this out is very, very simple. You just grab that short end that we put the jam or stopper knot on and give that a pull. This is the same thing. So if I pull this direction, it doesn't want to come undone. But if I pull the opposite direction, it comes undone. Here's another example of what I've used this knot for in the past. Here is my tripod, and you can see I've got a couple of those arbor knots right here. So I just put them around here. You can see there's my longer end. And sometimes what I'll do too, is I'll put another little knot on this end to um, just give you something to grab and pull on when they're this short. But this, I used to stick a microphone right here when I was filming, and then I would use a knot here to cinch down, and then a knot on the bottom of the microphone to cinch down as well. The Arbor Knot is actually used to attach fishing line to the spool, but as you just saw, I use it more for compression bags, uh, compression straps, or tying bags together so they don't unroll. I've also used it to tie on the latch of my gate at home so that my two four and a half year old twins 
redundant, yes, don't get out of the backyard, but I can easily access the gate when I want to get in. Another thing that I've used it for is recent flashlight testing. I actually use the Arbornaut. I put the GoPro right here. I use the Arbornaut to cinch it together with the flashlight just to get a certain perspective that I wanted for film. So my point is it can be used for a variety of different things just like most knots. It's limited to your imagination. Put this one in your inventory guys. It's a great one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.